Welcome to Tom Teaches YouTube. In this video, we're gonna look at how to hopefully recover your Premiere Pro project after Premiere Pro has crashed. So if you see that Premiere Pro has had a serious error, there are likely some auto-saved versions of your project somewhere on your computer. So if you open up the File Explorer or Finder on a Mac, generally this will probably be under Documents. You will find an Adobe folder find Premiere Pro, find the most up-to-date version. And I generally don't put mine in here, I put one for an example. But if you see, you'll see your, your project and then probably the last time that you actually saved it yourself. But you'll see a folder called Adobe Premiere Auto Save. If you double click there, all the versions that it has saved are gonna be right there and you can actually arrange them by the date modified. So you want the most recent auto save and then you can open that up. Now it may not be the entire thing. You might've missed the last five, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so of editing, but it's better than losing everything since your last save. What I like to do after this is I go to file save as because if I just keep saving from here, it's gonna be that file that's in the auto save folder. Then I go back to the original one and then I over write the one that was not saved with this auto save that I've just opened up. It'll ask, do you want to replace it? And I say yes. And then that is now my current project that's in that folder. What I like to do is when I actually start the project, the folder that I have all the footage in, when I start my new Premiere Pro project, I actually say, okay, put the project file with all of my folders. Wherever you put that project file, where you start it, as long as that's the first place that it exists and you didn't move it into this folder, then your auto save folder will be in that same folder with all of your video clips. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll go ahead and link to a video on how to set this up so everything is together in one place and organized. And you can see in here, I've got several auto saves and I can arrange it by the date modified to get the most recent one if it were to crash. But for most of you, it's gonna be under documents and under Adobe. If you want it to auto save a little bit more frequently or a little less frequently, because it does take up space on your computer with all those auto saves on PC, if you go to edit and then preferences and then auto save, I think it's gonna be under file for a Mac. It'll say how often do you want to save it and what's the maximum number of versions you wanna keep. And so if you get more than 20 versions, it'll just start deleting the oldest ones and keeping the most recent ones. I keep this at 15 minutes. And then if you need to clear up space after you've finished a project, you can just delete the auto save folder as long as you still have the project file and you know that is the most up-to-date project file. So hopefully that will help you recover your Premiere Pro projects after you see that unfortunate message that says Premiere Pro has crashed. If you'd like to stay in the loop with any upcoming videos here on Tom Teaches YouTube, be sure to subscribe. In addition to filming and editing tutorials, I also have YouTuber assignments that I actually use in my YouTube video production class at the school that I teach at. So if you'd like that more structured assignment, here's how to grade yourself if you do the assignment type of video and type of exercise, then be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. This is Tom Teaches YouTube and I'll see you in the next one.